I call the Honourable Member, Dr Russell Norman. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. I rise on behalf of the Green Party to speak on the third reading of the Big Brother GCSB Bill. As the moment of truth approaches on this bill, uh, there will be 121 people in this House who have to make a decision about how they feel about freedom. They have to make a decision as to which way they are going to vote about freedom. Are they going to vote for freedom, for liberty, or are they going to vote against it? And that fundamentally is the decision that everyone in this House, the 121 of us here, have to make. Because this bill is a fundamental constraint on freedom. It fundamentally restricts our freedom of expression. It reduces our freedom to live free from state surveillance. And in that respect, it is a bill that reduces the freedom of New Zealanders. It is the moment of truth. And this isn't just an issue for New Zealand, because the GCSB that this bill considers is part of a global spying network called the Five Eyes Network. And I think the global context is absolutely essential when considering this bill. A few days ago, the Guardian newspaper revealed that they were forced by the Government of the United Kingdom to physically smash up their hard drives of their computers. So we had the Government of the United Kingdom, which prides itself as being the home of freedom and liberty to some extent. This Government was for forcing the Guardian newspaper to smash up their computer hard drives in the basement of their newspaper offices. And that was because those computer hard drives contained information about the Five Eyes Global Surveillance Network, the documents that were released uh, by Edward Snowden. Now, those documents have revealed to every citizen on planet Earth that the Five Eyes Network, of which New Zealand is a member, that this network is engaged in a global surveillance activity, where they are spying on all electronic communications that they can possibly get their hands on, which is a pretty complete set and are storing them and analysing them and storing them in a very large database. Now, beyond that, the partner of one of the journalists who has been uh, intimately involved in exposing um, this global surveillance network that the United States and the Five Eyes Network has established, the partner of one of those journalists was detained without an arrest warrant uh, for nine hours under anti-terrorism laws as they passed through an airport. They were detained for nine hours under anti-terrorism laws without any kind of arrest warrant. And all of their information and all of their information devices were taken away from them and copied. Now, the reason why this is relevant to this bill in particular is because the GCSB is New Zealand's contribution to the Five Eyes Network and the global surveillance state. The way that New Zealand and New Zealanders, whether they realise it or not, whether they consent to it or not, participate in this global surveillance state is through the GCSB. And what we're seeing is that the states which have prided themselves on their commitment to liberal values, which have, provided them, have prided themselves on a commitment to freedom of expression, are now leading the world in cracking down on those very values themselves. The veil of liberalism, which all of us, I would hope, uh, believe in, is slipping. And what we're seeing is that the kind of state that has emerged now in the United Kingdom and the United States is the kind of state that would have Edmund Burke spinning in his grave. Because this kind of global surveillance state is the exact antithesis of what those who led revolutions through the 19th century in particular believed in when they believed that we should extend citizens' freedoms rather than constrain them. They believed that citizens should be free of mass surveillance by the state and that that was a fundamental value which many fought for and many gave their lives for over the past couple of centuries in order to establish those basic principles. But here today we find ourselves that we, once again, are fighting for those basic principles. This is a bill which significantly extends the power of the GCSB, the New Zealand um, branch of the Five Eyes Network. 
And I'd read to you from the, society, the Law Society submission on this bill, the Law Society which the Prime Minister has very sadly denigrated over and over again. The Law Society says, this bill changes the GCSB from being a foreign intelligence agency to a mixed foreign and domestic intelligence agency. The bill empowers the GCSB to spy on New Zealand citizens and residents and to provide intelligence product to other government agencies in respect of those persons, those persons being New Zealand citizens and residents, in a way not previously contemplated. The Law Society says it is inconsistent with the rights of freedom of expression and freedom from unreasonable search and seizure under the New Zealand Bill of Rights Act and inconsistency with the private, inconsistent with the privacy interests recognised by New Zealand law. All of the leading law professionals who presented to the Intelligence and Security Committee came to the same conclusion. And yet, time and again, we have had this government, in a way which is very reminiscent of other authoritarian regimes, denigrating anyone who dared to differ with the Prime Minister on this issue. It is a very sad day in this Parliament when it would appear we have 61, um, a majority of a single vote in favour of progressing this law at a time when the global global debate is exactly around these issues about protecting our freedom in an environment where security is, is, is being debated. Now, it's easy to say that you believe in freedom and liberty in, 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 in abstraction. But when it comes down to it, and we have the debate about freedom and liberty within the context of the Prime Minister screaming hysterically about Al-Qaeda and various other things that he introduces randomly into the debate, I think that's when it gets hard to have the debate around freedom and to protect freedom. Because what it requires is that we have courage in our values, courage that those who came before us stood up for something that was important, and that our job here in this House tonight is to stand up for those values once again. And so what is important, I believe, is that while we have uh, the, the somewhat bizarre commentary coming um, from the other side of the House, it is nonetheless important that we defend the rights of freedom of speech, that we defend the rights of freedom of expression, and in this House we vote against this bill. Now, we're not obviously uh, confident that we'll get uh, that result today, but nonetheless I think it is important. What we've seen with the debate around this bill is the government has consistently tried to confuse people and actively tried to confuse people. The Prime Minister went on Campbell Live and said, and I quote, that the GCSB would not have access to the content of their emails, people's emails, under the cyber security function. That was completely false, and the Prime Minister was required to correct his answer to that later. Now, either the Prime Minister does not understand the legislation, which is why he gave a false answer on live television um, in, in, to, to, to hundreds of thousands of New Zealanders, or the Prime Minister purposely set out to deceive New Zealanders. Whichever is the interpretation that the Prime Minister set out to deceive New Zealanders or the Prime Minister simply does not understand the legislation, it does not fill us with confidence. I would also point out that we in the Greens have consistently attempted to amend this legislation and have put up a series of substantive amendments which the National Government has voted against. For example, we put up Supplementary Order Paper 316 to make sure that metadata was included in the definition of communication so that it was abundantly clear that any protections around communication applied to metadata as well. The National Party, the United Future Party and the ACT Party voted against that because, of course, they want access to your metadata. We, included a, 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 we put up an amendment 317 which said that we should return the GCSB just to its foreign intelligence objectives rather than the spying on New Zealanders objectives that this new bill introduces. Again, the National Party, the ACT Party and the United Future Party voted against that. We moved to, to uh, tighten Section 8B so that, only, uh, so that these, the information which is gathered about New Zealanders cannot be passed offshore 
because the government says it doesn't want to pass this information offshore. So we sought an amendment on exactly that point to prevent the information gathered about New Zealanders being sent offshore. This was our supplementary order paper 315. The government voted against it. The National Party voted against it once, once again. We moved a whole string of amendments to this legislation to try to protect freedom from the depredations of this government and this Prime Minister or future governments and future Prime Ministers who would seek to constrain the freedom of New Zealanders in order to facilitate this global surveillance state which we now know exists and is coordinated by the United States. The National Party, the United Future Party and the ACT Party consistently voted against every attempt to tighten this legislation to protect freedom. Mr Speaker, the Green Party will stand up for freedom and liberty today. We will vote against this bill. Um.